Greetings, friend. Hardcore outward. Permadeath. Okay, full dancer set. Porcelain Nux. Wolf backpack. If you're just joining us. What else? Breakthrough skills. Feather dodge. Spellblaze awakening. Survivor's resilience. For that added health. I need to start working in Predator Leap more. The skills I'm relying upon, if you've been watching. Uh, four words. Okay, sweep, kick, mana, push. Okay, those four words have basically summed up the uh, combat formula, I should say. And also left hand overhand. The big part of the combat formula. Let's get into it here. In the Hollowed Marsh. We've been watching Star Wars, so my daughter started a uh, Leia character. Okay, we're in the Hollowed Marsh. We just, uh, man, barely survived the Jay Lich after I spoke about how it was kind of easy to beat him. Basically, I almost died to him. Um, now we're headed to Giant's Village. Wanted to get an in unknown arena in. Yeah, I've got Jade Lich gear because my bag's overweight. So yeah, I want to get an unknown arena going in the Giant's Village. There's a couple of them. I just don't think... Oh, look, fishing spot. I know you need fire, fire, firefly powder as well as... Gather fish. Miasma pod. You need miasma pod and firefly powder. I think the numbers are 10 and 6. I just don't know which... Which, which arena requires 10. Uh, if it's Firefly Powder that you need 10 of, or is it the Miasma Pods that you need 10 of? And then, same thing with the... Yeah, I just don't know what the numbers are. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on. Let's get there. How many... Firefly powders, I've got seven. Okay, I've got some fireflies on me right now. That'll make an eighth. An eighth firefly powder once I find a, uh, a plant host for them. To drop them off at. Let's go in here. Have I already gone in here? Honestly, forget if I've been in here or not. I know I've been in here. Let's see. Flooded cellar. Let's get our dancer set going. Porcelain Nux. Actually, my back. Yeah, not too bad. I thought I would barely be able to walk, but I can move. Just completed Ancestral Peacemaker. Fourth quest of the Blue Chamber. Interact with that lever. This little dungeon plays a role in one of the quest lines. But not the Blue Chamber's quest line. Sweet kick to the floor. Just bury him in the water. Might as well use the bandage. Chest, hoping for a miasma pod here. No. Greasy fern. I honestly don't think. Uh, I guess I'll take it. Also, if you're new to the playthrough, I'm not. I'm only, you know, crafting potions and and foods that my character learns the recipes for, so I personally know what the great life recipe is based on experience, but I'm not I'm not allowing myself to craft any great life potions until my character actually finds the recipe, acquires it somehow, whether through a merchant or through finding it 
in a chest or junk pile or anything like that. So haven't found the great life recipe. I don't know if I'll ever find it. Perhaps there's news in Berg. We're getting into the caldera soon. And my bag is pretty loaded right here. I think I will go this. Just to get some speed going. Oh no. Let's get back into what we know and love. For these dudes. Ooh. Got the firefly fireflies going, which makes me more noticeable. Good. Nice. Oh, she got me. Slow down plus the weight of the bag. Ah, left hand overhand, there it is. Oh. Alright, let's get our heavy gear back on. Some health, regeneration, we got some jerky, anything. Hopefully one of these guys, hopefully this guy's got jerky. Marshmallow, I'll eat that for stamina regen. I might already have regen five, I'm not sure. Oh, bandages too, I got, I must have bandages, yeah. Two bandages, let's take, I'm gonna take the cloth. Craft another bandage. Yeah, if that guy would have had jerky, these guys, I probably would have taken it early on. More firefly powder. All right. See, I got to find a, a host for this group of fireflies. Got to find a plant host. They're scattered about the region. Fang nuts. Let's drop that. Okay. Let's deal with them. Nice. Take your time, yeah. Nice, good. Hmm. Kind of tempted to take the raw meat. Six pounds versus three. I'm trying to, I guess. All right. It's a, it's a bag inventory issue right now. It's driving me nuts. This is the problem. This is the one drawback with the wolf backpack. Doesn't carry 75, which is decent. Just not like what I want to carry. Why did my... I ate that marshmallow and I thought that would give me some better stamina for a long time. 900 seconds, it's already gone? Okay, Alpha Tonosaur. have a go let's go ice rag let's go rage discipline let's go, cool. let's go fire two warm boon alpha tonosaur will 
they'll deal some fire damage. They've got a fire blast. If I go mana push, did that put him? Nice. Good. Good. Oh. Nice. Hate it when the trees get in the way. Good. Pretty good work of him there. I guess I'll get my Jade Lich staff going. Let's get a bandage for the health recovery. Mineral tea. We'll take mineral tea as well. Get rid of some of that burnt health. Dry mushroom bars are getting kind of low. 11. Got to replenish that. Okay, here we go. Firefly. Plant host. All right, so the plan. Okay, the plan again is get to Giants Village, unknown arena. Hopefully we can do two of them. There's two arenas in the Giants Village. We just need miasma pods as well as firefly powder. Okay, then, after that, perhaps there's news in Berg, that's what my journal says. Okay, it's opening up th Three Brothers DLC, the Caldera. Okay, I'm looking for fishing spots right here for my Asmund pod purposes. It's not happening. There's some firefly po fireflies, good. Let's get the fireflies. Okay, let's get back to the plant host. I need jerky or something. I need to... Probably should have grabbed some raw meat. From the Tonosaurs. How much firefly powder do I have now? Nine. I either need six for the unknown arena or ten. I just can't remember. I'm kind of thinking 10, remembering 10. Can I get there this way? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm remembering 10 firefly powders, 6 miasma pots. Might be the other way around. How many times do I have to say that actually? I, I continue to say that. Even though you guys have been watching, hopefully, so sorry, I apologize. Fishing spots, anyone? Fishing spots are rare in the Hollowed Marsh, it seems. I'll be honest, I think this is the first time I've ever actually tried to, you know, sought out fishing spots in the Hollowed Marsh. Not something I generally am looking for. Okay, hollow trunk. Maybe my asthma pods in here. It's possible. No. Bolt rags. I'd rather not deal with the stegosaurus. Let them roam. My knuckles are pretty damaged. Hopefully, uh, I'm at to sleep. I have to sleep in the giant's village. I guess 
maybe I should get at these stegosaurs and get some raw meat. The only problem is if you're dodging, and then you fall off the cliff. If you fall off the cliff into the poison, you know, into the toxic waters, then you've got issues. I'd love to sneak up on this guy here. Good. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Couldn't have gone better. Both these guys fell down. Okay. Take the raw meat. Jerky purposes. Fishing spots? Actually, I see a fishing spot. Okay, no miasma pod. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. Have I ever, ever been down here? I don't think I've ever mined iron from this ore vein right here, ever in my life. I played a lot of outward. Miasma pods? This, I don't think the supply caches ever have them, but it's worth a shot. Uh, I guess I'll get my jazz. It's kind of a cool look. Dancer's leggings with uh, Jade Lich coat with uh, Dancer's mask. It's a pretty good look. Okay, so... More fishing spots. More fishing. I don't really want to fight the stegosaur there. Miasma pod. How many do I have? Five. I'm also nervous about this because as soon as you start getting into the unknown arenas, I guess because I don't want the playthrough to end. I don't want to die, but I'm going to face it. I'm going to face it head on. Come what may. There it is, another miasma pod. That's six, I think that's it. Unless I've got the numbers reversed, in which case... In which case, we'd only be able to do one. But we'll see. Actually, how much firefly powder do I have? Nine. Firefly powder. There's fireflies out there. Here's a plant host. There any fireflies? Go nearby. I guess not. I guess I'd have to get these fireflies and then walk out. What I'll do is I'll get the fireflies. Go into Giant's Village. See if I actually need 10 Firefly Powders or, or not. Proceed from there. I know I've got the stealth skill from Sticks, but even the Fireflies can't, you know, aren't attracted to me. 
I don't, they don't detect me. All right, here we go. Giants, let's get rid of the Jade Lich gear. As much as I'd love to bring it to Carl, it's just the traveling there for no purpose. I'm not really going to the Chesneys right now. So to haul it everywhere, uh, it's just the weight is too much. Okay, what am I doing? Sell it. So equip this guy. Okay. Hello, my friend. Hello. I'll buy something. Don't get very much cash for the J Lich gear. Okay, cooking pot, I'm gonna buy one because. I want to make some jerky. Confirm that. What else? We've got mineral teas, bitter spicy teas, and short on. Let's just buy a few of these. Four. Some wood, make a little fire. Okay, cooking pot. Good. Jerky recipe, nice. Alright, will this guy repair my equipment? I kinda don't think he will. Maybe. Hello, my friend. What can I do to make us both happy? Yeah, I can't repair equipment, so. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sleep. Hello, my friend. Firefly powder. Hello, my friend. No firefly powder. So let, let me, let's just make sure that this arena requires 10. I can drop my bag just in case. I don't want to have the necessary powder in my bag and then all of a sudden be transported in without buffing up. A sacrifice of 10 firefly powder may do something. All right. Okay, that would mean, yeah, the other arenas and then six miasma pods, which we do have. Hmm, okay. Before we sleep, let's, let's get that tenth firefly powder. So I, can't, I can't purchase anything from this guy, yeah? yeah. Alright. We'll run out here to this plant host, drop off the fireflies. <sighs> Honestly, I'm, I'm... Unhealthy levels of nervousness. You gotta have a balance in Outward. You gotta be... Confident. Fireflies already came back to that spot. Wow. You got to be confident, but not overconfident. You don't want to reach unhealthy levels, as I have in the past. 
you want to be you don't want to be nervous too overly nervous unhealthy unhealthy levels of anxiety so which is really tough to overcome <laughs> especially early on but see this is why hours is so great like I've got a ton of ton of experience playing but the game I can still be challenged you know what I'm saying yeah, it's, it's a bit more of a challenge going with the dancer gear it's challenging in its own way it has its benefits too obviously you know stamina gauge stays replenished all the time so you don't have to worry about that but yeah you can you can challenge yourself in outward no matter how much experience you have you still get that that nervous tinge that I've got going right now so I gotta gotta calm down a bit I think a good rest in the luxury tent hopefully will do that for me okay so let's do some repairing too four sleep for three hours see what that does it won't guard repair for four Try that. I should bring the Nux back up to where they need to be. Interrupted by the faintest of unnatural sounds, you scramble to protect yourself from the ambush. It always happens here in the Giants Village. But there's nothing. There's nothing. Okay, here we go. Thirsty. Empty water skin hoarder edition, hardcore playthrough. Can drink water. Two water skins filled. Okay. Got my six miasmas. All right. Okay, let's go to this arena. Let's get fired up for this. Let's make sure it's six here. Sacrifice of six miasma pods may do something. All right, so bags overweight. Can't have that. Hmm. Guess I'll drop the firefly powders. I'll drop the tent too. You know, pick the firefly powders back up just in case something weird happens, a bug that, you know, makes it so when I get back out of here, the firefly powder's gone. It's actually never happened, but there are a couple bugs in this game that, um, have been known to show up. Just want to make sure I've got it in my bag. All right, so I'm hesitating to go in because I don't want to end the playthrough. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, this is the this is the three giants. You've got baby, mommy, and daddy giant. So, hmm. It's an ice ice environment. I'm gonna go fire. I gotta do maybe I'll do weather defense too. Keep my temperature up. Um, I'm obviously gonna boon up because I want to do prismatic. I want to do prismatic right off the bat. I gotta get someone going. Um, if I if I can land prismatic, it should inflict burning with the fire varnish. And then you gotta get, I gotta get these guys running around the arena. I've got all the stamina I could ever hope for. Get these guys running around. Let's try to separate them a bit. That's the key. That's the key right here. 
Let's drink again just to replenish that. We'll go Gayberry Wine. We'll also go just straight Gravel Beetle, get some stability. Marshmallow Tartine. Stamina. Okay. We'll boon up. Boon up with everything. Alrighty, let's go. Let's eat turnip potage, get the mana going. Fire varnish, here we go. Got my porcelains equipped, good. Let's get into it. Start them off with prismatic early, get that in. Relying on my protection from the bag and the enchanted dancer's gear. Yes. Yes, good, good, good. Get them running around the arena. Good. Nice, good. Let it get out of that. Good. Got caught up. Fine, fine. Again, get them running around. Good, good. Good, good, good. Somehow got out of that. Somehow evaded that. Good. Prismatic, yes, good, perfect. Let's go elemental discharge on him, yeah. Okay, get him running around the arena, good. Get out of there. Got taken out, it's fine, it's fine. Good. Good, 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 good. Another discharge, good. Nice. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Good, 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 good. I'm fine, I'm fine. Stay calm, stay relaxed, stay patient. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah! Man, I'm good. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Get right behind him. Yeah! Finish him off with elemental discharge. Yes! Nice work. Yeah! That a girl? Way to step up. I didn't take weather defense. Did I even have weather defense? Yeah, I should have taken it. I'm cold. Let's get some jerky going. Oh, dude. Hands are trembling. Hands are trembling. Collect the loot. Collect our end game loot here. So these chests contain uh, items for crafting gear, and I, I don't I don't know the crafting recipes. You can wiki it, you know, look it up, up on wiki all of them. Um, haunted memory, the memory of a ghost's deepest regret, exercised by forbidden magic. It can be used to craft new unique equipment. Pearlbird's Courage. Skull of a monstrous prehistoric pearl bird. Can be used to craft new unique equipment. Okay. Nice. Pearlbird skull. Prehistoric. So what you do is combine these items. So like when I first was experimenting with that, I just started just throwing items in the crafting menu manual. And just started coming out with interesting gear. I haven't crafted all of it. Actually, I haven't even really used any of it. Um, let's check out this arena. These arenas, it's good to spend your time here. Just kind of look at... Oh, interesting, that's... You find that little 
canopy right there and three brothers. Next to the uh, Silkworm's Refuge. Not sure why the Giants, Endgame Giants Arena is a, a cold environment. Because they live down the caldera. They also live in the hollowed marsh. Both very temperate areas. Well, caldera is kind of hot. I imagine the marsh is kind of warm too, muggy. All right. Survived. Take a deep breath. We live to fight another day. Live to fight another day. Now it's off to the next. I don't want to grab. I don't want to. Almost left my luxury tent behind. Can't have that happen. I've always been a fan of Giants Village. Super intimidated by it when I first entered on my first playthrough. I've mentioned it before, but I, I entered in, saw those two giants on the side, and immediately just fled. Fled the scene. Alright. So what do we got here? Let me back away from this. I don't want to accidentally interact with it and enter in. Okay. We got our stamina cost from the luxury tent. We got that for another good long while. We got another, yeah, we got stamina recovery five for a good while. Mana recovery three. Okay. All right, so we're good on stamina. All we gotta do is eat some dry mushroom bars. Man, yeah, I'm kind of bummed I'm running out of these. Gotta craft some more. Actually, you know, I might as well just take, drink one of these. Gives me stability too. Take that. Got to take a great life, I guess. Drink from the water. Got the Gayberry wine. Can't I can't boon up that way? Well, I can go Rage Potion. Go. Oh, this could have done it too. Discipline. Let's go Elemental Resistance. This is basically an Ash Giant Priest here from the Abrasar Desert. Basically what we're doing there. Might as well drink the Blessed Potion. Boon up. We'll try to go Prismatic on as well. What else? I think that's it. And we'll go. Maybe we'll go decay. Let's get in. Temperature's good, so I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not cold anymore. Ash giant high priest, high monk. him with prismatic good nice good we're fine fine just gonna let him do his thing okay nice good 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 Prismatic. Nice, got him. There we go. 
man. Just sit back. Let him flail wildly. Kinda wanna finish him off with uh Oh my my varnish gone? No. What am I doing? I'm getting That didn't kill him? Now it's getting sloppy. What am I doing? Yeah! There we go. That a girl. Way to put on a display. Uh huh. Random skills showcase. Stop. Stop trying to fight me. It's over. It's trying to finish him off again with elemental discharge. It's trying to get. I don't know. It's the experience in me trying, you know, being cocky, I guess. Jep's generosity. Golden flower. And I ended up looking like an idiot in the process. Um, kind of a sloppy way to finish him off. Got kind of torn up at the end. A golden flower. It hums with welcoming energies. Can be used to craft new unique equipment. Jep's generosity. Vandeville's hospitality. Yeah, they're hospitable. Torn flag of a notorious rebel. Proof justice was served. Can be used to craft unique equipment. Check out this arena. Some kind of a solar system type diagram. Hmm. A dawn weaver in the dusk father. The dash giants are very into their gods that seem to revolve around creation, nature, things of that sort. Again. Let's see, does this guy this guy has a mask on? I wonder why you can't loot that mask. Seems like it'd be kinda cool. Let's get back to the giant's village. Dealt with a couple of the end unknown arenas there. It's it's exactly what I wanted to do. Although, this great life recipe, I'm starting to get to the point, I've only got four great lives, I'm headed into the caldera. Oh, actually, there's a... One of the dungeons in the caldera has several ash giants, and they're dropping a bunch of potions. So, I think I'm just gonna, as soon as I get to the caldera, get to that dungeon. I'm gonna leave the cooking pot there, that was my bag look. Bag management. I need oil, I need thick oil. The lantern. Hello, my friend. Good. Got the lantern repaired. Alright. I have a cold? Disease cold has been contracted? I feel like I'm running low on a few things. Mana stone. Gayberry wine. And I can make some spiritual varnishes. I already got four. The fire and the ice varnish. Nice to get some more of that. Maybe in the end mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and, and Merker. Get some smoke root, sear it up, make some. I gotta get fire stones though, too. Cold stones as well. Now I'm thinking about that ice witch who had like three cold stones I passed up, but I couldn't grab them. My bag was so overweight. 
go jerky right here. Let's drink some water as well. Got a couple bandits over there. It's an ice witch too. Let's rag it up. Ice rag, I guess? I don't know why, but just did. Discipline, I guess, for these guys. As well. You already see me? Salt ash armor. It's actually really good. 30 decay resistance. All right, I'm slowed down. Yeah, I feel like my resources aren't great. I need to start gathering from bushes to grab like uh, ochre spice beetles. It's starting to kind of feel like beginning of the game, I guess. Start harvesting gay berries. Yes. Start foraging. Start foraging for beetles, just like I did when I was washed up on shore. First day of the game. When's this slowdown gonna stop? It's highly annoying. It's a broken tent. bothered with that kind of stuff, just gotta get to Endmerker. I can be bothered with the berry bush though, I need to grab some ogre spice beetles. Actually those broken tents usually have an ogre spice in it. I don't want to fight Stegosaurs. Just hoping the music doesn't trigger. There's nothing worse than trying to sneak by enemies and then that music kicks in. Kind of into this because dark varnish sometimes. Get out of there. Yes! Good. Nice. Mana stone. Take it. Yeah, hoping for dark varnish there from the blade dancer. Did I get the strange apparitions quest? not get strange apparitions I thought you get that as soon as you leave spire of light I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it light mender's backpacks not really what I'm after okay gravel beetle good iron scraps I don't Gotta, gotta make use of the greasy ferns. Gotta get the great life recipe somehow. Do I have rations even? Oh man, all these things are starting to... I guess I can grab some of these. One ration. Two salts. Oh no. Oh yeah, you only need one salt for one ration. So I think I'm going to be okay. 
And we all know, I mean, anyone who's played outward, we all know the feeling. Getting to the boundary of an area, already excited to travel. You hit that F button to travel. And the ration category is all redded out because you've got one less ration than you, than you actually need. Hmm. Two blade dancers. Don't really want to risk the playthrough over two blade dancers. Firefly powder. Actually, I should probably take it. Get some bolt varnish going. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salmon. Perfect. Um, bread. There we go. I would take the fireflies if there was a plant host around here, but I don't think there is. There's not a plant host. So we'll just leave it. Leave it. All right. Travel to Enmerker. Bitter spicy tea. Let's take it. Gotta remember to grab rations and Berg. The most important thing in this game is finding rations. Okay? That's what Outward's all about. Collecting enough rations to travel from region to region. Bread of the wild I can make, huh, if I kill this buck. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Take the alpha meat. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Enmerker, I love it. I always overlook Enmerker. It's pretty much my, my favorite region for when I first started. Is actually is every region my favorite when I first started? I feel like I've mentioned a few. I know I've mentioned Abrasar. I think Abrasar was my favorite. Well, it was difficult though, the heat and stuff. I can I didn't like it for the heat. Oh, there's that cold sound I was looking for. So, I love the look of Abrasar, but I didn't really like to spend time there. Because of the weather. And Merker. I love everything about it. It's also, it was frightening. And Merker's frightening. Running through the region of the beast golems after you. At night. It's raining. So much anxiety. Why do we put ourselves through this as outward players? It's because we enjoy a sense of adventure. We enjoy some adventuring. I mean, why does anyone play adventure games? Uh, there's that ochre spice I've been looking for, finally. How many bushes do I need to harvest from before I find an ochre spice beetle? Maybe that was maybe my sixth. There's news for you. You there, comforts. So there's a messenger waiting for you at the inn. They said their message was urgent. There it is. Oh, dude. Still remember what it was like to first load up that DLC. More content. More content, please. That's what I still say. I don't know if there'll ever be, ever be a time where I'm just like, ah, that's, that's enough content. I'm kind of done. No, no. More content, please. Okay, so... Got another spice beetle.
what can I do here? Yeah, this. Gibbard. I guess. Actually, yeah, I guess. Tartine? Uh. Why? I have Marshmallow Tartine. I guess. I guess if I'm in a pinch, if I run out of Marshmallow Tartine. Mineral tea. Yeah. Make some more of that. Like a soothing tea. What do I got here for water? I need, I need to gather some water. My teas. I'll do another mineral. Why is my bag overweight? Because it, it only carries 75. No, it's because of... Just things accumulate. Do I have enough for Bread of the Wild here? Yeah, because I've got some alpha meat. Let me get some Bread of the Wild. Gather to the shroom. Get to the smoke root plant. Okay, get back to the cooking pot. Dun, 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 dun. What? Bread of the wild is. Oh, I need bread. It's like I've learned this recipe, right? You want to buy something? Absolutely, I do. It's continuing to load up the bag with wine. Oh, 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 okay. Yes. Mana stones, I have 11. Yeah, I can make fire stones. I actually didn't even know that I had that recipe. Okay. Spiritual varnish. Okay, cool. Um, so I've got, now I've got two fire stones. Got two cold stones. I should grab the weedy. Oh man. The weedy? How can I help you? Um Great Life? Great Astral. Yeah, that's all she has ever. Fire varnish. Why don't I get fire varnishes? The caldera is still littered with fire enemies, fire based enemies. I don't know, but there's some I guess that don't. Gargoyles? That takes some fire damage. As well as. Uh... So I'm going up here for. There's a secret. Not a secret. I don't know, my daughter showed it to me. Smoke root plant. My daughter's the type of player that, like... Actually, I, I was at first, too. You, you go to a new village, you just go everywhere you can. Try to get... Try to climb, like, every inch of architecture you can. So... They notified me of that smoke root plant there. It's also smoke root out here. What's that? That gold lich mechanism that I just left there? Smoke it right outside, Berg. Grab that. Too much effort, I guess, maybe, to craft fire varnishes? Outward's all about the grind, though. <laughs> I mean, how... How far out of the way have you gone just to acquire some... Mini menial ingredients for some sort of a recipe? I guess I've done a ton of it. I'm more aware of it now that I'm trying to, you know, record some playthroughs for you guys. And I obviously don't want to spend tra time traveling from region to region. Like if I was playing just and you guys weren't watching, you know, I wasn't recording it for anyone, I probably would have taken all the Jay Lich gear back to Carl. Just dropped it off. Just wasted three hours of the game. 
Not a waste, though. I mean, Carl, Carl deserves every bit of it. I should probably get my gear fixed, too. Okay, so we got smoke roots now. Let's sear the smoke roots. Punch of paste. That's a good one. Yeah. Fire varnish. Nice, perfect. Now we're feeling a little bit better about ourselves here. The bag, though, the bag kills me. The virgin knuckles. I still haven't enchanted them. I don't need. I only need two full water skins. The other 77 water skins can stay empty. That's totally fine. Okay. And if you're wondering, this is not why bags overweight. See, the weight on these is absolutely zero. The weight on the water skins is zero. Why? Why is it not 0.1? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It absolutely should be 0.1 units of weight. Whatever that unit of weight is. How are my knuckles? The fists are bad. The fists are bad. Do I not have rations? Salt. Okay, see, this is the problem. Rations, rations, rations. Okay, I've got all this. <laughs> 12 greasy ferns. Uh, the czar stones. Um, let's go like this. this Get rid of the jerky. Let's just go bread of the wild for our health. Um, why do I have these? I guess for rations. Six pounds right there. That's a big reason why the bag's overweight. Why do I have the brigand coat? Oh, that was probably already in there. <laughs> it's like, hmm, brigand coat? Yeah, let's save that mustache. Let's take, oh, the tartine, it's almost rotted. That's what's going on there. Um, no more gold to take. I guess that's it. This ice rag. It's important that I keep that in the stash. Just kind of tucked away. Save it for a rainy day. You know, really crucial that that's in there. I'm glad that's in there. These end game arena things. Yeah, let's put them away. Let's put the amethyst away. Tourmaline. I guess for the enchantments. Good that I have seaweed, just wet, soggy seaweed slithering around in the bag. It's I'm glad I have that in there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. I'm gonna make rations out of that. First I need salt. Eight crab eye seeds. Let's put them in the stash because they're highly valuable. Hmm. Okay. To the bed. Sleep for a couple hours. Repair for five, six? I don't know, five? Let's go five, see what that does. There should be like a 5% chance of ambush in your house because of a break in. I mean, break-ins do happen. Should be 5% ambush in houses. Perfect. Okay. We've got everything I need from here. I'm only taking six bread of the wilds. It's fine.
make rations before I speak to the messenger and bird. It's crucial. I gotta buy salt. So many things you gotta think about. Want to buy something? Yeah, I wanna buy. Let's just buy all your salt so that I have enough on hand. Don't have the silver for it. Why am I saving these? Light the campfire that's already lit. It's crucial. Okay. Boom. More rations? Let's wait. Let's wait. Three is all we need to get to the caldera. So we're fine. Rations are kind of heavy anyways. I don't want to turn the tartine into rations. Perhaps there's news in the inn. Messenger. Brigand's coat? I think it is. Brigand's coat. Courier. Let's talk to Sagard, actually. I, he just sits. And there's just nothing changes after the war. Damn, little weasel. Can't believe this. We let Levant gain a goddess? How could Rissa let that happen? This will be our doom. Mark my words. Mark my words. I kind of agree with him, actually. I, I, I very much agree with him. What's this guy saying? How are you? I wonder. I haven't heard any news recently. Keep my ears open, though. Oh, really? You didn't hear that, like, the giant war ended in peace, like, a couple days ago? Maybe she assumes I know. That's fine. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Whoa. Greetings. He's cut from the same cloth as Carl. <laughs> Greetings, comforts, Aberdeen. This letter's for your eyes only. Rissa's orders. Why is Rissa sending a messenger, not talking to me in person? Curious. I don't know. Hmm. She said to say that the eyes of our great enemy are on us. We must act with great caution and told me you'd know what that meant. The eyes of our great enemy. I actually don't know what that means. Curious. It's two letters for you. Here's the first one. I'll be over here if you need anything. Rissa's letter. Comforts. I hope this letter finds you well. I apologize for the secrecy, but a recent incident reeks of the fiery influence of the Scarlet Lady. The less openly we speak of the details, the safer I believe we will be. During the end of the war between the Collective and Levant, the three brothers, the three volcanoes near the city of Soraka, suffered a tremendous seismic shift that caused grave damage to the city. The damage to Soraka is far worse than initially suspected. There are reports that the city itself has collapsed into the ground. A total reconstruction may be needed for civilization in the region to survive. Worse still, we have not received word from the Chamber Lord and his nobles since the incident. I fear the worst for them. In any of the city's leadership, if any of the city's leadership has survived, give them the second letter the messenger has for you. I have convinced the other Chamber Lords that immediate action must be taken to aid the city, and they have contr contributed the resources they can afford to spare. For the duration of your mission, you represent the Blue Chamber Collective. Act accordingly. Several wagons of food and construction materials are being prepared to make the journey to the caldera. Inform the leaders of the city as soon as possible that aid is on the way. From there, manage the situation as best you can. Sirocco is an incredibly valuable city, regardless of their isolation. Do anything it takes to ensure the future of its people and the stability of the region. The ancestral memories predict that the caldera region is about to endure extreme unrest and danger. Be prepared for anything, Comforts. May your ancestors guide you. Mm. They're about to endure extreme unrest and danger. Seems like Rissa knows about it. Seems like maybe she has a part to play in it. Looks like I'm headed for the Caldera region. Apparently there's a second letter. Can you lend me a hand? <laughs> yes, you're right. Right here. I was told you would know who it's for. Ensure it gets to them safely, Comforts. Curious. If you're headed into the Caldera, prepare yourself as best you can. It's an incredibly hostile region. 
I've encountered several creatures there that have learned how to penetrate even the most resistant armor. This worries me. In fact, just about everything out there is capable of inflicting some kind of horrible affliction that you won't have ever seen before. Be ready for anything. Fallen City's log has been updated. Master Chef Arago is looking for... No, it's not. It's in the minor quest, I've done that so many times. You're excited about a new quest that's been added. You go to the journal and you start reading some menial task that no one cares about at all. A fallen city. Travel to the Caldera region from the south of Enmerker. The Caldera. I'm excited about the Caldera. I've gone through it once. Um, so, familiarity helps you out so much in Outward. So I imagine in the Caldera is where the playthrough is going to end. Because I'm not as familiar. Pretty familiar though. I spent a lot of time there. I went through it once, but I spent a lot of time there. So. Pretty familiar with it. I think I'll fare okay. I'll fare well. Maybe I won't fare well. Last time I said something about my prediction about how things are going to go, I almost died the jade lich of all of all people the plague doctor that that scarlet lady reference that the wrist Risa made right there reminds me that maybe I should take on the uh, face of the ancients face of the ancients cave right here in Enmerker close to Berg red lady's dagger hmm something to think about something to think about for next time appreciate you guys watching um, it's been a lot of fun. Took down a couple endgame bosses this episode. I was nervous about it. Healthy levels of anxiety, I think. Um, got a little sketchy towards the end with the three giants. But as soon as you close out that second giant and you've got just that one giant remaining, it's just you just toy with him, you toy, you mess around. Just mana push, sweep kick, prismatic. Just wait for his like 10 second roundhouse swing to come through. Um, yeah, you toy with him once you get down to one, one giant. And then the high monk, it just got sloppy. Tried to look flashy at the end and it looked stupid. So, But anyways, we got it done, got it taken care of. Each region has uh, three endgame bosses, so there's another one in the Hollow Marsh. But you need obsidian. I just don't have the obsidian. I wasn't gonna get it. wasn't gonna be able to get it there in the Hollow Marsh. So we'll have to try that at another time if we get there. I mean, just throwing this out there. If we get there, is there a reason to go to the Hollow Marsh again? Not really. Marshmallow and Tartine, maybe I guess. Um, because I know I've got a bunch of tartines about to rot. How much rambling can I do at the end of an episode? That's another question. A serious one. So, anyways, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Uh, it's been fun exchanging ideas, exchanging thoughts about the game. Um, I feel like Outward's ga slowly gaining in popularity, too. I, I really want these devs to be supported and it's kind of selfishly though, because I just want more content. No, I really appreciate what they've done with the game, and I love playing it. I love talking about it with you guys. I can ramble on for longer if you want, but you obviously don't want to, so. Alright, see you on the next one. Will, bye.